Hello traders, hope you are doing well. Some days back, I posted a video on how to trade in options with very less capital. After looking at that video, I have been receiving personal message from a lot of you asking me to make a video on future trading with less capital. That is what we will be seeing in this video. By the end of this video, you will learn how to trade in nifty and bank nifty futures with very less margin. Now without further delay, let us quickly jump into today's topic. Traders, bank nifty is currently trading at 35,000. Now those who think bank nifty will not sustain this level, they will sell bank nifty futures, correct? But if you want to sell one lot of bank nifty futures, the margin required is more than 1,68,000. Now how many retail traders will have so much capital in the DMAT account? Now a lot of retail traders has come with big dreams to the stock market. Not everyone can enter the stock market with a very high capital, right? I started my trading journey with just 10,000 rupees. At that time, if they were asking me so much capital, then there was no way for me to enter the stock market and become what I am today. But we cannot blame the brokers also on this. The main reason why a broker is asking you so much margin is because the risk can be unlimited while trading in futures. From 35,000, Bank Nifty can go to 36,000, 37,000, or 40,000, even more. Anything can happen in the stock market, right? Now that is the main reason why the broker is charging you so much margin okay and they are bound to follow SEBI rules right now to trade with less margin what we need to do is we need to convert this unlimited risk to limited risk if we do that the broker will ask you very less margin okay now let us see how to do this now traders as of now if you want to sell one lot of bank nifty futures it's going to cost you 1,67,000 okay now if you want to reduce this margin you need to convert this unlimited risk to limited risk so you need to have some kind of protection now along with this if i just choose an option and i buy a call option at 35,600 okay let's see what happens now the margin required is just 36,000 so you are getting 1,30,000 margin benefit so from 1,68,000 you just need 36,000 in your DMAT account if you have so much capital you will be able to sell bank nifty futures okay now instead of 35,600 strike price if I put 36,000 let's see what happens it's saying 17,000 but I need to remove this 35,600 call option okay now the margin what they are asking me is 44,000 why are they asking me 44,000 let's understand this now traders if you go to this Opstra website okay you get started with this tool you'll be able to see when you will be making profit when you will be making loss all those details here if I enter the same details like bank nifty futures I want to sell okay and i add this position along with that bank nifty options so here if i put 35600 as strike price for example okay so i'm going to buy a call option okay if i add this position let's see what happens so from here if i scroll down this tool will tell us when we'll be making profit okay now as long as the market goes below 34940 you'll keep making profit okay this is the profit of bank nifty future from which you'll be making profit as the market keeps going down okay here you can see what is the price all right now the break even point is this but from here if the market goes up that means you thought of selling bank nifty futures but if the market is going up against your analysis you'll be making loss okay and if you see here the probability of you making profit is 49 percent okay and the maximum loss you can make is 16,000. now don't worry about this because you will set your target in futures right now let's say you shorted bank nifty and if your target is just 50 60 points you will make that profit here okay so you will exit the trade with profit with one lot only if the market goes against you according to your strategy or risk reward you would have kept stop loss right you will exit the trade with with very less loss okay now one thing what you need to remember is when you trade in call option the premium of the call option will keep reducing that is due to option greeks okay on option greeks we have something called theta which is time decay because of which the premium will keep reducing. The premium will keep reducing here but at the same time if the market goes according to your plan you'll be making profit here. The difference between these two will be your profit. Now the loss what is going here it will be covered by the profit what you're making here. All right traders I just have one suggestion you have to have little basic knowledge about option Greeks. Okay what is delta what is gamma what is theta because all these factors plays a vital role 
when you're trading in options okay we are just using options as a hedging position so that our risk can be minimized through which the broker will help us to trade with very less margin okay now let's say you are bullish about bank nifty okay so you want to buy one lot of bank nifty if you add that the margin what you require in your demat account is 1 lakh 67 thousand now to convert this unlimited loss to limited loss what you need to do you need to buy an option which option you need to buy you need to buy a put option okay at what strike price let's say 39,400 okay now the margin what you require is just 27,000 but this strike price is very near okay so we can keep 34,700 we will remove this so the margin what you require is 31,000 okay now traders in my option video how to trade with options with less margin in that i have clearly told what strike price is better okay i suggest you to watch that video so that you get better understanding as to which strike price is better all right now as long as the market is going up okay you'll be making profit but this put option what you bought from here you'll be making loss even put option has time decay all right but if the market goes according to your plan you can easily keep making profit okay now again if i come to this obstra tool here i can choose bank nifty futures i want to buy i add my position at the same time options 34700 strike price put option i need to buy okay i add this position now if you go here if the market goes against you okay this is the loss what you will be making now if the market goes according to your plan at these price level this is the profit what you'll be making okay i hope this is very clear to you now the same thing you can do when you're trading in nifty okay now if i choose nifty okay now the lot size is 75 now let's say i'm bullish about nifty so i add this position the margin required is 1,63,000 now to reduce this risk i need to buy an option which option when the market is going up i need to buy a put option okay at what strike price maybe 15,600 i add this and the margin gets reduced if i increase to 15,700 the margin becomes even lower i suggest you not to go with in the money because you need to know a lot of option basics okay once you know that that's fine okay now traders the main thing what you need to do is you need to set your target as per the futures okay if your risk reward is 1 is to 2 then in futures when you're making profit you need to exit okay because if you stay in the trade for very long duration then the option premium will reduce at that time both the side in future and options on both the side you'll be making loss so you need to be very careful with that i suggest you to watch the video which i've done on options how to trade in options with less margin to get better understanding at what strike price you need to choose okay i hope this video was helpful if you found this video useful please like and subscribe to this channel and if you think it will help any of your friends please share the video with them don't forget to join our telegram channel it's free now that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one